Sadhguru, and uh, I come for volunteering at IE program. My energy levels are very high, even the same dishes when I wash at home, I don't feel the same energy level. How to make my home, my work, everything as an ashram? I'm you should give it all away to me. <laughs> really? Anyway, I'm not going to come and eat in your house every day. But in your mind, you must give it away. Because here you're doing it as an offering, it's a beautiful thing. There you're doing it as a chore, it's an ugly thing. Both the same work, it's just you, isn't it? Same dishes, same work, just you, who can make it either miserable or joyful. So even what you do at home and office, why don't you do it as an offering? What's stopping you? I won't ask for you, I won't come and steal your salary, I won't come and eat your food. Why don't you just do it as an offering? It'll work beautifully. It'll work beautifully, not only because your mindset has changed, above all you become receptive for grace. That's the most significant thing, that is the most important thing in your life, to become available to grace. If that one thing is not there, this is an uphill task, uphill task, quite an impossible task. I wouldn't say impossible, but torturous. If you go with grace, you glide effortlessly, joyfully. If you try to walk, then it is a very torturous journey. I don't see what's the point in anybody making the process of life unpleasant for themselves. We do not know what big things will become in your life, whether you are going to climb Mount Everest or not, whether you are going to run hundred meters in eight, or no, we should talk seven seconds or not, whether you are going to beat the bolt or not, whether <laughs> whether you are going to become a billionaire or not, we do not know. But this one thing you deserve, that the process of life was a pleasant experience for you, this one thing must happen to you, isn't it? This one thing every human being deserves, isn't it so? Hmm? Other things according to their capabilities, all the other things according to their capabilities, this one thing every human being deserves that you make the experience of life into a pleasant process. This much must happen, isn't it? Other things we don't know. They may happen, they may not happen because they are subject to various realities. They're not just you. Those situations are not just you, isn't it? Those situations are so many things. This one thing you can do it. If this one thing happens, life is beautiful. According to our capabilities, each one will do whatever we can do. That's all there is to life, isn't it? But this one thing should happen. So, you must be a volunteer, always. What a vo being a volunteer means is, to volunteer means you're doing your life willingly. That's all it means. Right now if you say, I'm a volunteer, what it means is, I am doing whatever I am doing willingly, yes? So this is all the choice you have. You can either do your life willingly or unwillingly. If you do it willingly, it becomes a love affair. If you do it unwillingly, it becomes a rape. If you do it willingly, it becomes your heaven. If you do it unwillingly, it will become your hell. Yes? That's all the difference, isn't it? Anything that you're doing in your life, if you're doing it willingly, it's a beautiful thing. If it's happening to you unwillingly, it's a horrible thing, isn't it so? So being a volunteer does not mean washing dishes, does not mean cutting vegetables, does not mean this or that. Learning to become willing in all kinds of situations, that you do every moment of your life willingly, not unwillingly, because the moment unwillingness comes, even if the most beautiful thing is happening to you, 
it feels like you're being buggered by life. Yes or no? Unwilling, you're unwilling but we'll push you into heaven, you'll suffer. How do you know you're not already in heaven? Is there any proof? Is there any proof in your hands that this is not heaven? Then, because you're unwilling, even the heaven is ugly. <laughs> if you're willing, it's very beautiful. <laughs> and only if you are willing, you become available to grace, otherwise you have to plod every step, which is not easy.